tried to find the Halo liquid highlighter from Wet n Wild. Also seeing some Wet n Wild lippies. They have the liquid cat suit, lip glosses, and I'm seeing one shade of the L'Oreal Infallible Metallic Paint. This is random. This is a Santa Claus. I don't know if you can see the shape of his face. Let me try to hold it in front of something of color. This is a Santa Claus, I guess, candle holder. Very random to be here in the summer. These decorative glass gems are new. Dollar Tree's always had them, but they've never had this color uh, combination. I'm not sure if this is a Dollar Tree brand, but seeing these now in the store. It says also that they have blue and white. They've always had blue and white. They've always had these, um, but I haven't seen those before. Finally seeing the full set, the barbecue grill, the patio chairs and the reclining lawn chair really cute accessories they have these plastic totes and also those tubs i'm seeing them in gray and also this nice pink pale pink peachy pink really really nice and they also have these peach uh faux weaver weaved baskets third time's the charm this is my third dollar tree today i'm in north carolina and i found the maybelline vivid matte liquid lippies um i'm only interested in the gray uh, but i wanted to show you all the colors that they have this hard candy highlighter palette is a finally find for me um I had to come all the way to north carolina to find it but um i'm happy that i did it's really really nice all different kind of um, different shades also that one looks like maybe you could use as a bronzer depending on your complexion but really really cool also happy to find these collagen face wipes it says reducing reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles this is also a finally find for me Pepto-Bismol chewable tabs I'm looking for the Alka-Seltzer gum I have not seen that yet so that's on my wish list but this is something new to me I've seen this in New York this is not a Dollar Tree brand it's a feminine cleansing wash um, in the scent island fresh it smells really really nice um, this might be a closeout from somewhere because this is not a Dollar Tree brand this ribbon is new I haven't seen Dollar Tree with fabric ribbon before I'm going to use this to embellish um, a hand towel just to make it look fancier. It's really nice. First time seeing the Ortho Fire Ant Killer in Dollar Tree. I'm guaranteed this is a closeout from a big brand store, but what do we care? It's here at Dollar Tree. I don't know when I'll run into uh, a fire ant, but just in case I'm gonna pick up a bag having these tall storage containers from shore fresh perfect for pasta I was thinking spaghetti anything they look like they're pretty well made really good deal these Star Wars mugs are new really nice and lightweight not heavy at all. Finally found the Alpha Salsa gum. You get eight pieces. Um, cool action heart, heartburn relief. They have new bath bombs from Bath Treasures. This is Rose Petal Kisses. Cherry Blossom. Those are the only two that I'm seeing. They have them here on this end cap. They have these rolls of protective film. Um, You get 300 feet. It's only four inches though. So depending on what you want to wrap, um, you might use the whole roll quickly. Hi guys, I'm back with a quick Dollar Tree haul. I've been sitting on this haul for a while. Um, the plan was to upload it 
uh, several days ago, but we started work this week. We did our three 12 hour shifts back to back and uh, I like it. I guess it's too new to say I like it because you know, all jobs start out good and then you know, they abuse you and you get burned out. But it's totally different than anything that I've ever done. Um, we're working with pediatric, um, pediatric population, um, all the way up to adolescence, but I don't think anybody there is older than 12 years old. Um, most of them have trachs. Um, some are on ventilators. Um, I always said as a nurse, I did not want to take care of sick kids because I didn't think I could handle that, you know, seeing a child sick because they're so helpless. But I will say it is a rewarding feeling, especially, you know, if their parents are not there with them, if their family's not with, with them, you become their family. You can love on them. Um, you might not be able to... Some of them are not going to get better. Um, some of them are going to get worse. But at least you can make a difference. And that's something that nursing is all about. You know what I mean? Um, taking care of people. So it, it was definitely a rewarding experience. Um... I got the hours that I wanted, meaning I wanted 12 hour shifts. Some of the uh, long term care facilities down here only have 12 hour shifts on the weekend. So you'd have to work every weekend, which I thought I was willing to do or would do. But, um, you know, you want to have a life too. You know what I mean? So um, we started this week. So we're off this weekend and go back Monday. So, um, yeah, so it's really nice. It's 15 minutes from home. Isn't bad at all. Um, it's just when I finished those 12 hours, because, you know, you, you only have to take care of five to seven kids. That seems very minimal compared to the load that I would have at my other job. You might be, have 50 something. You might have 40 something. Um, you know, you had football scores to take care of in long-term care. Um, but they're stable for the most part. You understand you're taking care of seniors in long-term care um, that can take care of them. Not they can take care of themselves, but they're, they're medically stable. Um, uh, none of them have trachs uh, where I was working at least, where Mr. Fuller worked. He worked in a... Um, subacute rehab center so you know he and he floated to the respiratory unit a lot and he did home care with vents and um you know taking care of people with vents and trachs but for me it's been a while so this is like i'm getting back out there and i'm learning a lot especially i don't have peds experience so this is really really great for me um and good experience so i'm excited about that but it, I just realized that on my days that I work, nothing, and I repeat, nothing will get accomplished because when I left out of there, because you're on your feet 12 hours, you have to check, and, and, and they're, they're babies, so they're pulling on things, you know, they're, they're removing their uh, trach collar, they have G2, it, it's a lot, you have to really watch them, so um, it's really a busy shift, your caseload is small, but the acuity level is very, very high. So I will be going to the mall and getting me some new sneakers. I thought my Air Maxes could support me. But at the end of that 12 hours, I could barely walk. But enough about that. Just chit-chatting with you guys. Um, everything's coming together. I'm so excited. I finally ordered... Another thing I like about down here is... I don't know, being in New York, you think that, you know, you get all the hip, you get all the new and everything so fast. But let me tell you something. Amazon is on point down here, too. And I have been doing a lot of Amazon shopping, guys. Amazon is my new best friend. I'm competing with my neighbor next door. 
not competing with her intentionally, but she's an Amazon shopper as well. I mean, so we both, you know, then boxes come. And down here, the post office must have a contract with Amazon because that's who brings my Amazon package. It comes with the, the post office person delivers them and at first I thought he had a little side hustle you know what I mean working for the post office but working for Amazon on the side but no um, that's how they do it the only downside to that is if it's a small item like a couple of the items were small and they could fit in my mailbox that's where they leave them and the mailbox is down the street I could walk but I drive so um, at the beginning of the block is the mail houses for all of the uh, townhouses. So um, it's annoying. You're waiting for your package and it says delivered and, and then I'll say left in mailbox. So um, three things this week they left in the mailbox. But um, I got my vacuum cleaner and I had this vacuum cleaner in my Amazon cart forever. And they must have said let's lower this price so this cheap bitch could <laughs> they probably said let's lower this price because is she gonna buy it or not and i don't know they lowered the price by twenty dollars i bought it instantly the next day it was back to the same price so they probably just felt sorry for me um something else was lowered that i jumped on but i got my dining my dining room chairs gray velvet i love it um let me show you a quick clip i really really like these chairs and i like the diamond um stitching on them because it will match the sectional when it finally gets here the gold mats also were amazon purchase i'm a little annoyed because they left them in the mailbox so they were rolled up so i have to flatten them out but i really like how everything is coming together so i love my chairs and i have been looking at those chairs and everywhere else in overstock target wherever else they're from this i guess he has a home decorating line christopher knight i have been looking at these chairs everywhere else these chairs were 50 to 75 dollars more comes in a pair of two all i needed was two one night late i'm on amazon them chairs went down to 190 something for the both of them i jumped on it the next day it was 250 so i guess amazon is giving me you know rewards for shopping because how did the price jump up like less than 24 hours and it was higher before i don't know why it was down i don't know i don't care but let's get into this dollar tree haul i'm just chit chatting my life away guys and i apologize but i haven't talked to you for a while so there's three dollar trees in my immediate area yeah, there's three and then there's one in Winterville, which is a little bit further, um, but it's not that far. And I like them all. They're different, but I can tell you they are all clean and organized. Nothing like most of the Dollar Trees on Long Island. So, and I love you Long Island, but some of y'all, you know, y'all wasn't living right Dollar Tree. But anyway... I seen this online and I said I wanted it and I need it now. Um, I've never used Epsom salt to be honest with you, but this is relief foot salt, spearmint and menthol scented Epsom salt relief for tired feet from standing, running or overexertion, rejuvenates and restores, soothes minor aches and pains and it is again scented and I got two bags of this, okay. And I got this because I don't have a foot bath or anything like that. So I got this basin or dish pan and I'm going to use it for my foot soap. They had it in white, but of course, you know, I, I like the black one better. And um, I didn't even know they had black dish pans. Maybe they always have and I just never paid attention to it. So I got two bags of that. I have so many wipes, guys, so many wipes. But these were new. This is the higher oh Alaronic. I read y'all. Read. Read what it says because I can't pronounce this. I got these wipes. Not sure if I'm gonna keep these or give those to my mother. And then I also found the collagen wipes. And I only got one and one of each because I have so many of the other ones. Because the first ones I bought, I bought like five packages. So I'm definitely gonna be sharing with her. Um 
I'm I, I'm really good about when I go on Dollar Tree, guys. I uh, some things I just share for Instagram. So follow me at Dollar Tree Queen seventy six on IG. And then also some I have in my cart, and I think, girl, you ain't gonna use it. Put it back because y'all don't know the hell I went through it moving. It was it was horrible. And a lot of the stuff you guys have seen me haul over the year years, brand new unopened, went to donation or in the trash i i couldn't take it i couldn't take everything and i nor did i want to so i'm very very good about what i do i picked up two boxes of leave your girl had to pop two today after those three straight 12s i had to um this is new from maybelline shine shot shine shot prismatic lip top coat glides on smooth delivers a mirror-like glassy shine highly reflective finish that lasts use as top coat over your favorite Maybelline lipstick so I have this one and I have I got the gray a lot of people might not like gray or think gray lipstick so before the end of this video I will try it on for you we'll do both being that this is a top coat I finally found this hard candy highlighting palette. I think I told you guys in uh, the Landlord Storytime video. But um, normally, Dollar Tree, I mean, hard candy highlighters, I don't like. I'm going to be honest with you. Those round ones, trash, in my opinion. Maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance, but this I actually like better. Um, I really like these two. The cream ones, I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't care for a liquid or cream highlighter. Again, it could be me. I'm not a makeup artist. It could be, just showing y'all the girls, um, it could be the application. Maybe I'm not putting it on right. But I really like this, so I have bought two of these. And again, I just told you I don't like it. But why did I buy it? This is the Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter from Wet n Wild. Again, I'll give it a chance. For a dollar, a name brand cosmetic, I'll give it a chance. This definitely was a wish list item. This is the Never Get Hair Clogs Again. I bought two of them. Um, it shows how you put it in your drain. And then I just have to read how to remove it. Place into drain, when full, remove cyclone from drain, dispose of used cyclone, or clean and place cyclone back in the drain for more clog fighting action. So I got two of them, okay? I thought this was great for a dollar. Um, I just picked up these command strips. I really don't know. I was thinking in the closet downstairs using this to hang the broom. You know how the broom has a, a hole like in the top of the broom with... You could probably hang it up and the dustpan or whatever. Um, damage free hanging. I will tell you, I've been having bad, a hard time with Dollar Tree's uh, fake command strips. When I want to take them down and you pull the, the tab, the tab comes off and the hook stays stuck too. So um, I don't think I'll be purchasing them anymore. So when I seen the command strips, you know, the brand, I bought them there. I finally found the Alpha Celsa Extra Strength Heartburn Relief Gum. Not that I get heartburn a lot, but sometimes if I eat something like red sauce or whatever, or tomato sauce or something like that, sometimes. So um, it gets eight pieces, so I just got it. I just got it. Only got one. I'm not a fan of these, but I do need, I needed some washcloths and I don't know when I'll get to Walmart or, um, maybe on my days off this week. Um, not this weekend, um, but maybe during the week on my days off, I'll make it there. So just for now, you get four of my, I don't like them. I don't like the texture of them, but four, four dollar temporarily when I get what I want, I don't mind if I trash these or use these for cleaning, you know, cleaning the car or whatever like that. So those are them. I got this because I have a soap dispenser, not from Dollar Tree, but from Walmart. That's the same shade. And I got this for the toothbrush, but it's not going to work. I'm going to have to 
take this part out because Mr. Fuller has an electric toothbrush and he just lays it flat. It just bothers me. It just bothers me. I think, you know, this is why I got it, okay? So I had a feeling it wouldn't fit this, but this way in the closet when he goes to get his toothbrush out, it will at least be standing upright and not laying flat. So that's why I got that. Um, I was hoping it fit so this way it would match the soap dispenser, but I don't really want that out on the counter anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But I did pick that up. I saw a DIY on Instagram where they made, I don't know what you would call it, but it's a decor piece using this plate and this um, bowl. What they did is glue this together and they spray painted it with a matte spray paint and put those decorative balls in there. When I do eventually get my coffee table, I can use this to put on my coffee table and then put the decorative balls inside. So I think I'm gonna, being that my coffee table, everything, my furniture is the gold with the glass. So of course my coffee table will be the same. So I wanna spray paint what they did, a matte black, not a shiny black because the gold furniture is matte, it's not shiny and I like that. So um, if you guys get the vision, this will be spray painted a matte black and then I'll have gold balls inside and maybe throw a charcoal gray. I think I do have a charcoal gray ball. I have to find where I put it that I uh, hold from Dollar Tree. You know those decorative balls, they have the ceramic ones or whatever. Um, put some gray and gold balls in here. So. I definitely will share when that is complete. Uh, so we can put the dining room chairs together. I put together my gold bar cart. Let me show you that now. It just was a gold cart that Walmart had for $47 and your girl got it for free because PayPal messed up a transaction of mine, a money transfer transaction and I went crazy. So for courtesy, they gave me $50. So I said, I will use this towards the bar cart. Uh, we're not heavy drinkers, but sometimes you want a cocktail. You never know, you might have company and might want to serve a drink or whatever. So I found this gold cart on walmart.com. It was $47, I think. Um, I will show you. Um, and it comes in different colors. So this was perfect for what I wanted to and where I wanted it to go. And I just bought a wine rack from Amazon. And um, I'm just looking for an ice bucket. I want a certain look. Because the cart is gold, I don't want a gold ice bucket either. I want a black one or um, in a, a, a clear one or a glass one. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But on the middle shelf, it's empty right now because that's where my ice bucket and my cocktail shaker will go when I find it. I'm just looking for a specific one or a certain look. Um, so let me show you that right now. I'll show you that now and come back. Okay, they raised the price slightly because I got it for $47. And it's just a basic gold cart. Um, but it's the perfect size and uh, I love it. So for $47, I think that cart was a great price. It was super easy to put it together. The screws are silver and you guys know that I'm very matchy matchy. So I will be painting those screws gold. I have gold paint. I just didn't get to it yet. Um, so everything's coming together. I'm waiting for my furniture. There is no Raymore and Flanagan in North Carolina. So it's paid for. They told me in three weeks shipping and it hasn't been three weeks yet. So I have to wait. It's an out of market delivery. So that's why delivery was so expensive. Delivery was $300. So as soon as I get my sectional, I'm waiting for my sectional to get my coffee table because it's a large sectional. So I don't want to get a coffee table that's too small. So I want to see it in the space and then make a decision on uh, a coffee table. Um, and then uh, I have my end tables. They're just not assembled yet. So everything is coming together. I just have to organize. My closet needs to be organized. Um, my kitchen cabinets. I've never had this much space and storage in the kitchen ever. There's a lot of cabinet space here. 
Um, so I just have to organize and put things where I want it. But everything's coming together, so I'm really happy about that. So now we are going to do the lippy try on. So I'm going to put the gray, and this is Vivid Lat vivid matte liquid and you've seen on the end store they had orange purple and pink i don't i really didn't care for none of those other colors so we're gonna do we're gonna do the lippy i'm sorry There's a couple of things Dollar Tree has right now that I have not found yet, but I'm not I'm not stressing it, guys, because I do not want that accumulation anymore, seriously. I do not I have so, I have so many so many clothes, so many clothes with tags on it, so many clothes from travel that I only wore once. My closet is going to be packed once I get it uh, organized. I still have the clothes in the space bags or, you know, that I had. So um, I might be giving some clothes away down here because I just took, because the weather's nice and it's weather appropriate clothes, you know what I mean? Maxi dresses and stuff like that. But anyway, we're going to do the lippy. I want it so bad. What time is it? I don't even know. It's like probably close to 10. I want it so bad to go to Burlington or, or uh, Ross. Um, but I don't want to hear Mr. Fuller's mouth. Because they're open late. They're open to midnight. Now, I showed this on Instagram. And somebody said, how would you wear the gray lippy? I probably would do a smoky eye. I like it if you guys been rocking with me for a while you know how I have wore blue lipstick uh, you know green I really think this is cute And it feels good going on. Oh my God. Usually mattes are very, very drying. So I hope that this is really, truly matte. I hope that it doesn't, because right now it feels like a cream lipstick. If you could see it closer. It feels like a cream lipstick. I don't even think it would pair nicely with this, to be honest with you. So I, I, I'm, I'm not going to put it on. Because this feels creamy and wet. You understand? And I don't want... Oh, it's something I can wipe off. But you see, matte usually doesn't shine. And it doesn't feel matte. Sometimes when it dries... I don't think it's going to dry and I don't think it's really going to represent this product because it already has a sheen to it and a shine and that's not matte that would be my only criticism but I do like the color there's no instructions on it that tells you it'll dry or what but yeah I think that's everything oh I want to show you guys something now, I went to Roses, right? And I got some things, two more pictures, which I really, I really didn't need any pictures for this area. This area is, has a big mirror, it has lights, my closet is there, there's a counter, a vanity area. Um, you know, like sometimes you go to a hotel and they have a vanity area, I love it. Cabinet storage, like this is my get ready okay area and i really really love it um and my closet i love my closet behind me this is a big ass closet behind me but i went to rose's discount store and you see this beautiful picture with the chandelier i i was thinking about but i really don't want to put holes in the closet door but it's not that serious it wouldn't be a big hole 
But I was thinking about hanging it. Hold it together, girl. I was thinking about hanging it, you know, on the closet. But I don't know. It's so pretty. But most likely, I'm going to put it on that wall. I got that, this from uh, Roses for $9.99. And this was Roses $7.99. Again, I was thinking about hanging one on each closet door. I don't know. I still might. And next to Roses in Greenville is the store called City Trends. And I always wanted to go in there. When I spy is with me, you know, I have to watch myself because I have to hear his mouth. He's already complaining about Amazon. So they had these earrings for $1.99. I mean, it's not a super deal, but it's it's cute. Really, really cute for $1.99, okay? And they also had these in silver for $1.99. So if you think of Dollar Tree jewelry, where you get one pair for a dollar, for $2, that's a good deal. This one has how many pairs of earrings? One, two, three, four, five, six pair of earrings for $2. And it's different. Look at these hearts. These are hearts. Look at the little fake bling. So this this is a good deal. And they had a whole wall full of animals. But what I liked were the sunglasses. These were $4.99. Now y'all know I'm extra, okay? Y'all know your girl is extra, okay? So I really love these five bucks. I love these. Okay. Now I know I'm extra, so you shouldn't be surprised. And these were three ninety nine. dollars Now these are different. Even for me, these are different. But I really love, <laughs> okay, even for me. But I really love the shape. It's like a reverse cat eye. Instead of this being at the top, it's at the bottom. And it like contours your face. So y'all know. I'm extra. So, I mean, the bling on the side. $3.99. What else did I get from there? Oh, well, you guys know Memorial Day is coming up. And this shirt is sold at rainbows for like $6.99. They had it for $5.99. I've seen quite a few pieces there that I see at rainbows. And this is just a red, white, and blue shirt. Okay. And then it has the frillies at the bottom. I thought that was cute. And you could double it for Memorial Day and 4th of July. I'm missing a bag. I'm missing a bag from Dollar Tree because I thought this was so different. Hold on, guys. Let me find this bag because I'm missing a bag. Hold on. I'm missing a whole lot. Lord, I got these paper plate holders. Okay, it comes in a pack of four. I found this Fire Ant Killer from Ortho. For a dollar. I wasn't leaving that behind. I don't know where fire ants are. When I posted on Instagram, somebody said there's a lot in North Carolina, so I guess that's why they have them. And down here, they give you plastic bags, and they don't charge you, so that's something different from New York. Um, I bought this and didn't know where I put it. I bought this notebook for work because I am new. I'm learning, so I'm taking notes and stuff like that, so I had another notebook. I just used that one, but I was looking for this one. I got two of the Tidy Bowl cleaners. Um, I like these. This goes inside your toilet, and it cleans your toilet. Helped me out a little bit because I'm the only one that cleans toilets. Um, I got this. What I use these for is I use these as liners, like on the top of my dresser. Um, and I needed one more because we have two long dresses, so I needed one more. This fabric silver um, silver ri ribbon from Dollar Tree. As you've seen on the install, they had all the different colors. 
I have a Dollar Tree hand towel in the downstairs bathroom and I'm just going to use this with some hot glue to embellish the towel to make it look more fancier, okay? And that's just for show. I wish they had it in black, but I was thinking if I can go to Walmart or something and I could add black detail to the ribbon as well. If not, I think that will make that towel look dressier. It would have looked nice with a black uh, hand towel and that silver ribbon, so I still might do that. I might do that. Um. This helps my allergies. God knows this helps my allergies. And I don't have to take this every day. One of these pills lasts me like two days of relief. They had some new deodorant. This is from Suave Rosemary and Mint. No parabens, dyes, cruelty free, and formulated without aluminum. I didn't know they put aluminum in deodorant. But I didn't even smell this. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. It actually smells pretty nice. So I got that one. And then they had this one, Tropical Paradise, 48 hour prote uh, protection. It smells like a pina colada or a tropical drink. So I did get that. And something else that they sell in Dollar Tree in North Carolina that you won't find in New York Look at these sparklers. I thought these were really, really cute. This package can only be sold as a package. So you get two packs, and I'm trying to find out how much is in each pack. Five pieces, so 10 for a dollar, okay? I thought these were really, really cute. Might save these for my mom's birthday party in August. Okay, thought those were really, really cute. So now that's the end of my Dollar Tree haul. I also bought some rocks and some fake flowers. They were an area outside on our patio next to the central AC unit that just looked real, it just bothered me. Here it is, we put down outdoor carpet, we have nice patio set, um, we have the gazebo, the faux, whatever you wanna call it, ivy greenery and then you had this area it just was not right so look what i did this was the before area which it just looked you know not nice and i added three bags of the dollar tree rocks and some faux flowers so i think that looks pretty cute i mean that's as real as the flowers that i i i will be dealing with i don't i don't do well with um flowers at all so I thought that came out pretty good and that took three bags of rocks from Dollar Tree and three flowers and I think that's an improvement to the area in my opinion. I, I really don't think it's matte. I will say it's not dry, my lips don't feel dry, they feel creamy. So, I mean, it's up to you if you if you want to get it. I mean, there are other colors, as you've seen on the end store, just not colors that I'm interested in. Okay? But that's it. That's my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I don't know when I'll be seeing you guys again. Um, this day off went by fast. Off tomorrow. And then back to work Monday, Tuesday. And then I have off Wednesday, Thursday. Go to work Friday off the weekend. I mean, it's, it's not a bad schedule. I don't have that stretch of four days off, but to be honest with you, doing three 12s back to back there, mm -mm. no, I don't want to do that. Just let me do two. Let me recoup and then I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Mm -mm. And that's it, guys. That is it. Uh, everything's coming together slowly but surely everything's coming together I'm just waiting for my sectional I'll be glad but I am going to give them the full three weeks before I go crazy um, because they demanded that you know because they I put a deposit down because it was out of stock and then when it came in I had to pay the balance so you emailed me on the 5th that it was there you had your money by the 6th 
Now I want my couch because I ordered this couch originally from another furniture store in February. Um, so I, I want my furniture, you know, but can't complain. Talk to you guys soon. I love you. Thanks for rocking with your girl. Sorry for talking too much, but I haven't seen you in a while. Take care. Bye-bye.